The mainstream media loves to mock President Trump and his wife Melania. These leftist nitwits cannot stand the fact that the Trumps are a hit among the American people. And what is ticking them off even more is that every day the Trumps' popularity grows. A perfect example of that is President Trump's first foreign trip. The entire trip has been a smashing success, however, Melania Trump seems to be the breakout star and it is not hard to why. Since Melania Trump stepped off Air Force One she has been the talk of the town. Not only has she won the approval of the foreign press, but the American press as well. Which of course, as we know has been an uphill battle for the beautiful First Lady. For example, the local press hailed Melania Trump as classy and conservative from the first day of this highly publicized trip. Even the Los Angeles Times gave Melania Trump positive reviews which stunned everyone again. Not only did the Los Angeles Times give glowing reviews but so did the British press saying, Melania Trump dazzles in purple remake her gown for the first evening in Saudi Arabia. Another time the First Lady shined was when First Lady Melania Trump held the hand of Israel's First Lady, Nakama Rivlin, who carries an oxygen tank due to a respiratory illness. The image touched everyone and conveyed a message that went beyond normal diplomacy and presented an image of kindness. But, it was today's images that really has shown how much class Melania Trump truly holds. First Lady Melania Trump and Ivanka Trump visited the Western Wall prayed with President Trump. But it was how stunning Melania Trump looked that really got the attention of everyone there. Take a look at the stunning photos here. Here is more from Breitbart, at the Western Wall. Mrs. Trump acknowledged the Orthodox Jewish custom of separating the sexes during prayer by visiting the women's side of the plaza. However, as in Saudi Arabia, she kept her hair uncovered, though Jewish women are not required to cover their hair during prayer, or before marriage. She also visited the Hadassah Medical Center in Karim later in the day with Sarah Netanyahu, the Israeli Prime Minister's wife. The hospital treats both Jews and Arabs and features both Jewish and Arab staff. The First Lady will be moving from New York to Washington, D.C. shortly, after the President's youngest son, Barron Trump, completes his school year. Even Newsweek had to give President Trump and the First Family a positive review in their piece. Members of Israel's ultra-Orthodox community breathed sighs of relief after President Donald Trump's visit to the Western Wall on Monday went off without a hitch. Trump became the first sitting U.S. President to visit and pray at the Wall but the prospect of his wife and daughter potentially accompanying him to the men's section of the wall had prompted concern among some ultra-Orthodox Jews. But Ivanka and Melania Trump avoided causing a stir during their visit by praying at the separate, smaller, women's section of the wall. During his visit to one of the holiest sites in Judaism, the president prayed with his son-in-law Jared Kushner, who is an Orthodox Jew, and Western Wall Rabbi Shmuel Rabinovitz and put a prayer note into one of the crevices in the wall, while Melania and Ivanka Trump did the same in the women's section with the rabbi's wife, Yael Rabinovitz. This was a wonderful moment that was captured on film and I am so glad it was. To see the president and the first family there really warmed my heart. After eight years of the Obamas ruining our relationship with Israel, this really put us back in good graces with our greatest ally. Although, it still boggles my mind that these liberal asshats would still attack President Trump and Melania Trump. They are not doing anything wrong but the will of the American people, but of course, as we know they don't want that. It is only a matter of time before the left will look for something to put Melania Trump down, but it will be hard to do. Melania Trump really has wowed everyone in it I am sure she will continue to do so in the future. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.